What is video dance? It's the art form of dance in the media of film or video. For me, it's, it's capturing the whole multimedia sense of, of what we're making when we create a dance, is to get you know, the energy of real places, of real time, and um, the energy of working in, in a film and creating something that can live on is really exciting to me as a dancer. What we're trying to create when we create a dance video is not a pale imitation of the dance or a better version of the dance or any version of the dance at all. We're trying to create its own art form. Has so much time passed. I pull down shutters and close doors. It is late at night. The observatory lies like a lover, open to the sky. I close doors. The creation of video dance is part of the, of, it's a hybrid form in and of itself. It's video and it's dance. And in, in that sense, you're, as all good hybrids are, you're creating a new art form. If you're making for a video, you're putting lots of other things like locations and things that you can't put into um, a stage performance. So it's a whole different, another medium that you can actually experiment into. On stage, there's an experience in itself. The audience is there, so you're feeding off an audience. It's a really nice um, flow between you, the performer, the audience, and you're always getting that back and forward reaction. With video, you've got a camera, you've got someone outside directing you. It's a different thing. It's a different experience. I think it's a, a different art form and both are very valid. I think the first thing that attracted us to making dance for film and video was the possibility of placing dance in different places so it didn't just have to be on the stage. And as we became more educated about um, film and video, we learned that we can also manipulate time very effectively in film and video, much more effectively than a performance which has to go from beginning to end. We can chop all over the place in time in video. Um, we have educated ourselves in the art of editing film and video, and we really see that as a form of choreography because you get uh, a series of images on a video tape or on a film and they can be recombined in completely new ways and that's really what you do with dancers in studio you say okay you learn this movement material and they've learned it and then you say well recombine it in this way and you do it backwards and you do it forwards and you do it inside out and so on and so forth you can do that in editing it really is a form of choreography we choreograph movement and image in the editing suite what if he's gone undercover to escape from the bad guy one of the big differences between making a dance for video and making a dance for the stage is how you get from one place to another. When you're choreographing for the stage, you have to move furniture and people as part of the choreographic action that is seen live. When you're working with video, you can just cut from one location to another, but it's important to devise transitions that make sense to the viewer. In video time, things move faster. You have to keep people more stimulated uh, because the director chooses exactly what the eye sees. The eye doesn't get to move around and choose what it wants to see as it does live on stage. So we choose different textures and different framings to set things into to move it along and move from one place to another. The camera person frames movement in different shots. Shots can be close-ups, medium shots, long shots, or anything in between. And the movement will convey a different energy in each different focal length. The director can also choose to put the camera in different places, above the action, below the action, to one side or in front, which makes the movement look different again. Working on location, the, the amount of times that you can stop and start again makes it easy to create a, um, an ideal sense of the play, of the dance. What's wonderful about film is that it really combines all art forms. It's like the great umbrella. So you can, within it, you can have choreography and you can have text and acting and music and uh, design and, yeah, and, and camera angles and editing and so on and so on. So it's, it's a really rich, um, you can sort of create the whole thing, you know what I mean? It's not like, well, if we just had this, we could have done this and we could have just done it. 
you can create the whole picture. You can almost create like a whole other universe on film.